What's going on? My name is Adam. I'm doing an interest print review today. Um, I didn't find any other ones online, so I figured somebody else could use this to their benefit. Um, I have more products coming in from Custom Cat, um, Printful, Printify, um, T Launch, and I believe there's one more. I can't remember which that one is, but I figured um, because I couldn't find this one online, um, I would give a comprehensive review. Uh, of this one, and I'll probably do the rest of them as well, just because I guess I'll be the guinea pig for everybody. Um, I've ordered anywhere from two to four products per um, company to see what their quality is like. Um, some things I'm looking at is obviously pricing, um, their structure, so how you can create the store and link it with Shopify, WooCommerce, what have you. Uh, the pricing that goes along with that itself, not just the products. Um, quality and shipping time so for me most importantly would be uh, quality from there would be price and then third would be shipping times the whole like oh it looks good to set up I don't really care about that because you could just give me the code and I'll figure out how to do it that way um, it doesn't need to be all perfect uh, so anyhow um, I'm gonna be doing a um, interest print review today like I said I never found one online so I figured somebody else could use this um, Interest Print is a new company in China who is now doing print on demand. They're very, very new, so they have a lot of features that they want to introduce and they do offer on the website, but they're not necessarily um, integrated yet. So, like custom labeling, even though I wanted it, um, I had to message the girl on Skype to get it. Um, so, I'm going to be 100% honest with the review, uh, not biased whatsoever. Um, and I give everybody the benefit of the doubt for these, so I'll be pretty understanding as, as most as I can be, or as best as I can be for it. Um, so, interest print, um, as far as prices goes, the pricing for products is pretty average. Um, T-shirts, hats, hoodies, uh, those are mostly what I'll be using. I'm not sure, honestly, actually, if they have hats, but um, shirts and, and hoodies are the biggest one for anybody, right? Long sleeves. Um, fair pricing. Um, not so much a competitor as far as everybody else's pricing goes, but what they do offer is free shipping, and free shipping is huge because it saves you a big cost, saves um, a cost for people that want to buy your products, like your customers as well. Um, now, the shipping times are much longer, uh, also depending on where you are, U.S. and Canada are shorter, U.S. is the fastest, obviously, and then anywhere outside of that is longer. Um, so you can do free shipping, it's five to seven processing days for creating the product, and then um, I believe it's around 10 to 12 days for free shipping to the USA, uh, 10 to 15 Canada, and I believe um, 15 to 20 something in like Europe and other, other countries. Um, you can get express shipping, which I did get personally myself, um, and it was, uh, I believe it was around like $10 to get it express shipped to Canada. Uh, for the U.S., you can get in three to five days, so add that with your five to seven processing days. You're looking at about 10 business days, so two weeks to get it expressed, but it's something that you can offer your customers is, do you want free shipping, um, and are you willing to wait? Yes, save you a bit of money. If not, they can get it expedited to them, and, and it should get there pretty fast within two weeks. Now, um, I received mine pretty fast. Um, I don't know if that's because I told them it was a sample order. There was no discounts for that, by the way. But I don't know if it was because of the sample order it came so fast or they're just really good at processing it. But they processed it super fast. It was gone within like a day or two. Um, now that being said, they also don't have a huge consumer base like Custom Cat or Primful does, right? So they don't have as many orders coming in. Um, so the shirts or the packaging that it came in was just uh, standard DHL package. Um, that's who they're expressed through. I don't want to show my address, but that's the bag that it came in. Um, and then when you look at the bag, it comes in this. So I ordered uh, two shirts, two mediums. I got, um, it wasn't the cheapest shirt, but it wasn't the most expensive. It was mediocre, probably on the low side. I think it was around $9 for it, US. Um, I got two of them. Um, They're both direct to garment, DTG printing, I believe. Um, and I've already tried them all, like I've already unpackaged all this stuff, I'm just doing a, a new review because when I was searching for other companies I couldn't find these. Um, I completely forgot about the sizing in China. Um, it fits completely different than it does in North America, so um, the shirts that I got were a little bit looser on the arms, which I wanted was, or it's a little bit looser on the arms than I wanted because um, the people uh, in my niche specifically um, they're a little bit larger, uh, majority of them, or they just don't like their shirts feeling like tight, right? It's not it's not a fitness apparel brand or anything like that, so they want like custom custom fit. 
more slim fit, so I got wider ones on the arms. But it also fit really short on um, like height wise, so like if I were to put my arms up like this, it, it, like it came way up, it was really weird. Um, and I think that's one issue with like the, the Chinese brands. So you're gonna have to order probably a few blank shirts just to get like the sizing down to figure out how things fit. But without further ado, um, so this is what it looks like. Um, it's a standard Ziploc bag, uh, with a little meshing on the back here. It was folded better than this. I just tried squeezing it back in. It was really tough. Um, one thing if you see right here, interest print. Um, I paid an extra two dollars to get my custom logo on here, and it did not come like that. So I'm gonna be contacting the lady I spoke with about getting a refund for that. Um, that's one con already. Um, aside from how the shirt fits, so um, you know, I just it's, it's just a sticker. I believe that's it feels like a sticker that's just labeled on there, but. Um, every time you want that custom logo on there, you have to personally contact her. You can't just add it in through the system and say, click, um, add custom logo every time that you can with Printful and whatnot. So the custom packaging is a great feature, but it's extensive, um, costs money, and already messed it up, right? So not a good start, especially for a sample order, because I don't want other people getting this, seeing interest print on here, and then doing their research and seeing if some cheap company is coming from, right? So I'll go ahead and uh, I'll open it up. And I ordered two colors. I ordered um, a white with multiple colors, and I ordered a black with white font or a white logo. Uh, I just wanted to see how the logo looked on the black and how the, it would print on a white as well. Um, so the company or the brand shirt is Arrive Guide. Um, again, this is a Chinese brand, which I wasn't aware of at the time. Should have done my research, but I didn't. Um, this is what it looks like. Now the the print itself, let me um, if you can see that, um, it's okay. It looks really um, faded and uh, I think pic pixelated is the right word for it. So pretty much like if you have an image and you blow it up, um, pixel distortion that's what it was, and you you blow up the image, it makes it a little bit blurry, right? So the red or the burgundy, I guess it was. The, the burgundy and the blue wasn't too bad. It's a USA bass fish. Um, but like the white, it's it's supposed to be like a rustic look. Um, but I think, honestly, um, regardless of what company I go with, I don't think it's a printable option anymore. Just because when I go back and I look at the icon itself, even though it's in a 2500 by 2500 um, pixel size, I don't think it's going to be good enough quality. So I think I might just go with more standard colors and try and do something like a grain like that. If it was a um, screen print, I believe it is, or a heat press, um, I think it would look a little bit better. But I think the only option would to be uh, have it embroidered on. That's going to cost like a ton of money, so that wasn't worth it. So um, the, the lines, like it, it's the exact logo. I'm, I'm happy with that. Colors, for the most part, again, I think that's my fault with the, the white side of it or the the rustic side of it that's not going to work. Um, so I'm okay with that. I'm glad I got this ordered first because it actually helps me with the rest of my choices. The other is a black shirt with white font. Um, this is how it looks. It actually looks um, a little bit better on the camera than it does in person. But if you can see there, it's it's grainy, right? So, what happens when you do a um, direct to garment print is it prints once in white. Um, I know it's because I've done it before myself. I worked for a company doing it, and I've also gone through a lot of videos that show it as well. So, it prints white once, and then it goes over top with color on black shirts. It does that um, to kind of get like a base down for it. With white, it's supposed to do white once and then white again or white again to make it a darker white. Um, this is it's satisfactory. It's not not perfect, not horrible. It could be worse, but definitely not um, up to the quality that I want, the quality standards that I want. Also, a lot of my imagery here has a lot of bumps in it, and I think again that's my fault. Um, I need to look into the uh, PNG file of it and see why it's like that. But I, I do think that is partially my fault. So, um, aside from that, um, sizing. Sizing is different. Um, like I said, it's really short. I would try it on, but uh, I just don't feel like it right now. Um, so sizing is really short. Um, 
quality is not bad, I like the cotton in it. Um, it's not really thick like the standard uh, Gildan, and it's also not really um, thin like the Ambo ones that you can get and spend like 14 bucks on. But that's up to you however you want that, right? It depends on what the, the industry or niche you're in of, of how you want to print things. Um, so the cons would obviously be that it wasn't printed properly even though I paid for it. Um, it came in great time, which is good. That's a that's a con, or that's a that's a pro. Um, the printing, I can't give it a pro or a con because it's kind of good, um, but at the same time, there's mixed with like it being my fault as well why it's not perfect. So that I, I can't really say anything about that. But I, you know what, I will give it a pro that their printing is is pretty good. Um, shipping was good. I like the option that you can have free shipping because that's huge if a customer doesn't mind waiting for a discount of you know five ten dollars or whatever, and just gives you no, like another aspect and control over your business to expedite things, right? Um, the other con was that I had to pay twenty three dollars in duties when it came. The shirts and shipping total cost me twenty twenty dollars U.S., uh, which is about like twenty seven twenty eight dollars Canadian, and then I had to pay twenty three dollars Canadian at the door for duties as well because it came from China wasn't thrilled about that so that's another one that even when it goes to the US you have to pay duties on it as well um, I obviously can't have that for my customers showing up and hey here's twenty dollars in charges when they think it's coming from the US right so that's another con is the duties for it um, another con would be that their systems not that great like I said features are there but you have to personally contact them so if you're getting a hundred orders a month you have to send her the order number for a hundred orders and tell her that you want custom um, printing on the packaging itself for those orders which is just too big of a hassle to do so I wouldn't recommend that um, <clears throat> other than that um, like I said I'm gonna be doing a review on I'll probably do another one on Primful. I still have like two products, but I've worn them a lot, and not that they've been faded or anything like that. It's just I, I gave them to my brother. He's been wearing them, um, and I wanted it like fresh out of the package. Cause what I remember, the package looked good. Shipping was longer, but I think that's because it was the um, sample order, so they take a, a longer time because you get a discount for it, right? Um, but yeah, so I'll do a review on Primful. Probably Printify, I'm a little uneasy on that one because I've had so many bad reviews for it that I almost don't want to even order anything from it, but we will see. I might do like one shirt from them. Uh, I got Custom Cat. I got some hats coming in. Um, I'm not sure about apparel from them. Um, T-Launch, T-Scape, um, and there's one more. I forget what the last one is, but I got one more coming through anyway. So, yeah, that's my comprehensive review. If you have any questions, leave a comment, and I will address them best that I can. Um, and I will continue with more reviews. Thanks.